Hey guys, Gare here. So today I have all my crap. There's a drift button on there fishing. Um, I'm out at the Myrtle Creek course down at the lower part. I've got my rangefinder binoculars, um, extra camera, and Reinhardt bow. And I'm gonna go shoot uh, downhill, steep slope, for uh, double checking my third axis because I shot like crap here last time. So, and I have a sneaking suspicion not only was I shooting like crap, but uh, my third axis was off because by the end of the shoot I was ignoring my bubble because I knew I knew it was off. So uh, we're going to try and <laughs> make one trip, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So um, it's blowy, it's rainy, it's cold, but this is how you shoot good in the uh, in the season is by putting in the work in the off season. So, and I got a hunt coming up, so I'm not going to procrastinate. Let's see if we can make this work. There, they got the bow. Here we go. This might work, okay. Um, fresh deer poop. Squirrel. Maybe I'll see a deer. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's focus on packing all this down here. So I'll be shooting by a target off a cliff down into the Reinhardt, but man, this is a pain in the butt. Nice little workout though. Oop. All right, when I turn you back on, I'm gonna be setting up the target and I'll show you where I'm shooting. All right. Um, so my right hump up, probably 30 yards, pretty good downhill. And uh, I can even get farther downhill, getting up here. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. We'll shoot from right here, right around all that brush. I should be shooting, if I'm right, I should be shooting to the right, downhill and to the left uphill, but let's go ahead and start setting up here, the other camera. Yeah, so we're recording. I got my other camera right here. Actually, let's pull it up. Uh, we'll pull it up somewhere in one of these corners. Uh, we're gonna see how this third axis thing is right here. 32 yards, aim for 29. I'll just shoot it for 30. We're not going for up to down, we're going for left to right here. So let's see how we do. I should be shooting to the right, if uh, although we did re retune it, so we'll, we'll see. Where did I hit? Ooh, I hit to the left. Maybe things got switched up a little bit. We'll try it again. Ooh, I think that one's to the right. Someone might be shooting like crap today. <laughs> this won't work. Granted, it is pretty windy, but it's only 30 yards. That one felt really good. Just a little to the right. So I think I pulled that first shot and the other two were actually good. If I put one in about an inch to the right again, I'll know. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe it's good. Like I said, I got this new string on here. I did tweak with the side a little bit. We retuned it on the rest. Maybe it wasn't the third axis.
Ooh, okay, so that first shot, I think I, either my bubble wasn't good or I pulled it about that far to the left. Let's actually go down there and look, because um, I might not have to move a thing, but I could have swore this thing was gonna be off. But like I said, I did tweak with it, and uh, that'll save me a lot of work not having to tune that third axis. But this is how I build confidence, and this is how I figure it out. So I will shoot uphill here in a second, just to make sure, but I think, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it, so let's go take a look at it. So yeah, I'm about half an inch to the right. At longer distances, that's gonna get magnified, so it may not seem like a big deal here, but I'm gonna make an adjustment. So, um, <laughs> we won't talk about this arrow. You always, there's a pro tip for you, you always pull your worst arrow first. So my first shot was actually probably the best one as far as being in line, and I felt like I was left, and it also came out funny. It's a different angle. Well, no, it moved. Um, the target kind of moved over, moved over like that after the first shot, so that's why it's all cock, uh, cockeyed. But um, a lot of folks will probably leave that. I'm gonna mess with it a little bit, and because uh, I know it, you know, 60, 80 yards, that's gonna be probably that far off and that's costing you points and if you're shooting at an animal that's that's costing you an animal um, so I'm gonna make a quick adjustment and then I'll take you back up there all right we're gonna try this again I made a tiny little adjustment the wind is picking up it's starting to rain but it shouldn't affect me that much like I said it's only 32 yards with the angle it's 29 but I'm just gonna shoot it for straight 30 Bend at the hip. Still a little bit to the right. I didn't move it enough. Let's go try it again. Let's go uh, down there and look at it. That's horrible. Okay. So that's what happens when your shot process goes to crap, <laughs> which I just did a video on. So maybe I need to watch my own stuff, but. No, the wind started blowing. I got really trigger happy. Started punching it a little bit, and uh, I just wasn't steady at all like it was the first group. So that's bad shooting. And uh, I, I know I'm still hitting to the right because one of those shots I feel good about were over here. All right, here goes group number three. I'll take my time on this one and not rush it like I did last time. Shoot a horrible group. I'm 
on the left side, it's not horrible. I feel like that's about where my pin was. I'm not super steady. Okay, I feel really good about that shot and it is a bullseye, so I'm just getting really shaky. I've already shot a lot, so I, sh I shoved one at like five o'clock. It's barely in the yellow, so I'm gonna move the Reinhardt uphill because I know that that was where my pin was and uh, I was able to actually shoot good that time. I'm, I'm starting to really fall off, guys. I've shot a lot today, so um, I'm gonna move the Reinhardt, move the cameras down there, and uh, we're gonna shoot uphill, just make sure. So, I'll have to take my bow down there with me. All right, shutting you off. It's starting to rain anyways. All right guys, so I have a, uh, I have that Reinhardt, I moved it up. Basically I swapped spots with the Reinhardt. Just make sure real quick I'm right. Here we go. All right, so I can see I'm a little low. I don't care about that. I care about my left to right, so I feel pretty good about that group. I'll take you up there. Alright, so I was hitting my sleeve, so I don't know um, if that was that, but I think I have a little bit more work to do, but um, I'm gonna, I'm not happy, really happy with that group either. I should be shooting better than that, but like I said, I'm pretty tired. But I, uh, I'm much closer than I thought I was coming out here. I'm confident that if I had something up or downhill, I'd kill it. And if I'm shooting at a uh, you know 3D target, I'd at least be in the 10. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, thanks for watching this one, guys. Basically, just all you're learning from this one is get out, do the work, shoot, rain, snow, whatever it may be. It's only going to make you better. And then make sure that your stuff is on. You're, you're getting rid of all these errors in your in your system, your shot process, your bow, your gear, whatever it may be. I'm hitting my sleeve. I didn't know I was going to do that before I came out here. So uh, these are all things that are going to knock any of those situations where if I only had done this, well, you're, you're doing that today instead of in September or October. So uh, I've, I've been able to do that because I've had this happen a lot to me out in the woods when I was starting out. And so you learn to eliminate these things before you even get out into the woods with a tag. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you on the next one. As always, subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to see what I'm doing as I upload it. You can get notified. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. But you have to give me a suggestion if you didn't. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.